Peninsula with so many youpers. Welcome to Cat Chat alongside Sean Kelly. I'm Pete Francis, and we've got a great show for you today. Mylon Murphy will be our guest, and it was a huge weekend for the NMU hockey team. But first, Sean, President Obama was in Marquette. You actually got a chance to see him downtown. That's right. Uh, I was not one of the lucky 900 students invited to see him speak at Vanderbilt Arena, home of the enemy volleyball team. But I did go a uh, little bit of sightseeing downtown Marquette and I saw him uh, leaving Donkers, so staying in a crowd of about maybe 25 people. He waved at us and, you know, it, we weren't overly close, but it was still, you know, an interesting experience to see President Obama in Marquette. Yeah, President Obama was here to discuss the wireless initiative. Now, our show is a really kind of a good example of what he was talking about being an internet show. We've got people who watch from all over the country and the world, you know, in places like Sweden and Germany and countries like that. Yep. Now, we were there, so let's take a look. For our families and our businesses, high-speed wireless service, that's the next train station. It's the next off-ramp. It's how we'll spark new innovation, new investment, new jobs. And you know this here in northern Michigan. That's why I showed up, in addition to it being pretty and people being nice. For, for decades now, this university has given a new laptop to every incoming student. Wi-Fi stretched across campus. But if you lived off campus, like most students and teachers here, you were largely out of luck. Broadband was often too expensive to afford. And if you lived a bit further out of town, you were completely out of luck. Because broadband providers, they often won't build networks where it's not profitable, just like they wouldn't build electrical lines where it wasn't profitable. So this university tried something new. You partnered with various companies to build a high-speed, next-generation wireless network. And you managed to install it with six people in only four days without raising tuition. Good job. Good job, Mr. President. By the way, if you give me the name of these six people, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of stuff in Washington I'd like to see done in four days with six people. <laughs> so today, this is one of America's most connected universities, and enrollment is near the highest it's been in 30 years. And what's more, and this, this, this is what makes this special, you told nearby towns that if they allowed you to retrofit their towers with new equipment to expand your network, then their schools, their first responders, their city governments could use it too. And as a result, police officers can access crime databases in their cars, and firefighters can download blueprints on the way to a burning building. And public works officials can save money by monitoring pumps and equipment remotely. And you've created new online learning opportunities for K through 12 students as far as 30 miles away, some of whom some of whom can't always make it to school in a place that averages 200 inches of snow a year. Attention Wildcat fans! Vango's, the longest running pizza parlor in Marquette, is a proud supporter of Cat Chat. Located on 3rd Street, Vango's is your neighborhood bar and restaurant with takeout and delivery. Open seven days a week, Vango's specializes in only the freshest ingredients. From the dough to the pizza sauce made from scratch, Vango's uses the freshest vegetables for all pizzas, soups, salads, and specials, and has the best homemade food in town. Vango's, come taste the difference. I just saved $44 on three of my family's medications 
with the MKS Prescription Saving Card. Stop into your nearby Snyder Drug and start saving with the MKS Prescription Savings Plan. Hey Wildcat fans, for the latest news, updates, and online exclusives, check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash NMUCatChat. Hi, I'm Justin Flork, and you're watching Cat Chat. Welcome back. Now, Sean, last weekend, it was a disappointing series for the Wildcat hockey team, but this weekend, they came up with a huge sweep on the road. That's right. It's a big series against Michigan State. The Wildcats came in three points ahead of uh, Michigan State Spartans and playing in their own barn. It was going to be a tough game. Last matchup between NMU and their former head coach, Rick Comley. And the Wildcats really performed well. Friday night, they started the scoring early. Tyler Grant, he had a big weekend. He started off in the first period with a goal with about three minutes left in the period. State would tie the game up before the end of the first. It went to the second where the Wildcats took a 3-1 to one advantage, and they would add one more. It was 4-2 to two final Friday night, as Jared Carew had 50 saves. Now, Saturday night, it was a lot better as the Wildcats really took hold. They, they were down 4-1 to one early. Uh, Carew did get the start. He was pulled for Ellingson, and the team responded wonderfully. Tyler Grant had a natural hat trick for uh, four goals on the weekend. He did have an assist also Saturday night. The Wildcats, fueled by Tyler Grant, came back for a 6-5 to five victory. Yeah, talk more about the play of Tyler Grant. This was obviously the biggest weekend he's ever had. That's right. He came in leading NMU in offense and goals and uh, points. So it was really a big weekend. He's really set the pace for the offense. He had four goals. Five, uh, four goals, one assist for five points on the weekend, and he really set the pace for the Wildcats. Yeah, Gron had a great weekend. Who else impressed you? Uh, actually, uh, Gregor Hansen really impressed me. He had a uh, tough week last week at home as he was uh, benched Friday and did not even dress Saturday. Now, coming off that, you know, some type of players would just mail it in for the season. Hansen responded very well. He had an assist. And he played wonderfully. Also, Jared Carew, Friday night with the 50 saves, it really kept the Wildcats in the game. And it's really, really, really what Northern needed Friday night to get the ball rolling for the weekend. Yeah, after the big weekend now, the team has moved back up in the standings in a tie for six. That's right. They're tied with Lake Superior State and Alaska for sixth place. All, all those teams have also played 24 games along with the Wildcats. There's uh, four games left. The Wildcats are at Bowling Green, then home against Michigan coming up. And, you know, they've put themselves in good position for at least first round, uh, first round home ice. And if things fall the right way, the fourth or fifth seed is still not out of the question. Yeah, staying on the road now at Bowling Green, how does the team keep this success going? Well, Bowling Green is by far the worst in the CCHA with only three league wins for, uh, th and 13 points. So the Wildcats, having said that, they can't overlook this team. This is a team that did beat Northern at the Barry earlier in the season. So the Wildcats, they need to come in. They need to get solid goaltending again, whether it be from Carreau or Ellingson. They need to stay out of the box. They, they improved a little bit, but, I mean, this team was leading the country in penalty minutes. So, you know, a, an improvement really isn't saying too much, but they stayed out of the box for the majority of the time. They did very well on the penalty kill, which has been this team's Achilles heel so far this season is the Lake State Series. They allowed four power play goals on eight attempts. They need to get that going. I think they really need to jump ahead early. They need to keep the momentum going. And if they do all that, I really think they'll come away with six more points this weekend at Bowling Green. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, I'll be joined by Mylon Murphy of the men's basketball team. Stay with us. Attention Wildcat fans. Vango's, the longest-running pizza parlor in Marquette, is a proud supporter of Cat Chat. Located on 3rd Street, Vango's is your neighborhood bar and restaurant with takeout and delivery. Open seven days a week, Vango specializes in only the freshest ingredients. From the dough to the pizza sauce made from scratch, Vango's uses the freshest vegetables for all pizzas, soups, salads, and specials, and has the best homemade food in town. Vango's, come taste the difference. Can't make the big game? Well, Cat Chat's got you covered with live updates from NMU Home Games on Twitter. Follow us today at twitter.com slash NMU Cat Chat. Welcome back. Joining me now is Mylon Murphy of the men's basketball team. Mylon, thanks for coming on the show. Oh, uh, Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, tough loss on the road this past weekend, but the team has their last two home games of the season now coming up this weekend at the Barry. What do you guys need to do to finish the season strong? Well, actually, you just said it. Um, we just need to finish. You know, every game that we've played this year, um, for the most part, we've been right there. We just 
couldn't finish at the very end and, you know, pull out the win. So the biggest thing for us, you know, these next two games is just finishing. You know, we're, I know we're going to be there. That's not the question. It's just, you know, finishing the game out strong and pulling out the win. Now this season, Doug Lewis took over as the head coach. Mm -hmm. um, for players like yourself who were on the team last season, what's been the biggest transition with Doug as the coach? Um, you know, the biggest transition for me has probably been just the system, you know, the way that he plays his up-tempo style of play. Um, obviously, you know, we have a brand new coach and staff, and we have a brand new team for the most part, too. So everything's been, you know, a big transition for me. But I would say the style of play, you know, where it's completely different from last year. Now, away from the court, you've done a lot of entrepreneurial work, specifically with websites. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, well, I was in eighth grade, and I had started a clothing line. Um, and then from that is when all the websites, you know, sort of developed. Um, I, my first website I started, I think I was a freshman in high school or something like that. And now I have five total, but um, there's only about three that I really you know, run every day. Um, Strive For, which is an organization, Dorm Rumor, uh, which is it's like an online publication f where I interview different student athletes around the country um, that play, you know, obviously any type of sport, but it focuses on what they do outside of their sport as well. So what other visions and goals that they have beyond, you know, basketball, for instance. And then uh, I have also <laughs> I, uh, MiloMurphy.com, which is I, I do a lot of different things in there. I blog, I vlog my day. I mean, it's just a lot of different things. Just trying to have my hands and, you know, as much as possible for the most part. Now with Dorm Rumor, you interview athletes from all over the country. How do you set up these interviews with all these games? Well, you know, actually, I've just been real fortunate to, to meet a lot of people throughout my life. Um, with AAU basketball, I was able to maintain a lot of, you know, basketball connects. Um, I have some cousins that play big time basketball. And as far as other sports, you know, I just have friends who know friends. And I mean, it's just, you know, all connections. but. Um, just, you know, setting it up and usually everybody's interested in, you know, doing an interview because it's a fellow student athlete asking them to do so. Yeah, what's the most reward rewarding part about running your own websites? Um, you know, I think the most rewarding part is probably the fact that people respect me more for who I am than just an athlete. You know, I think people get another side of me and, and know and, and get basically a better understanding of what I'm trying to do in life outside of just basketball, you know, so that's pretty rewarding to know that. Now on your site, uh, Strive For, you have inspirational messages every day. Mm -hmm. um, where do you find your inspiration and who in your life has inspired you? Um, you know, my inspiration, all those words that I, I either make them up that night or that morning, so it all comes from me, but uh, my inspiration is just from all the things that I've been through in my life. Um, some people who have inspired me uh, would be LeBron James, number one. Uh, my brother went to school with him, so I was real fortunate to, you know, develop a close relationship with him throughout my life and watch him play. And to see, like, where he's come from and, you know, what he's done for our city and things like that, that's real inspiring. But um, other than that, I mean, it's just mainly the things that I go through in my life which, you know, allow me to come up with the statements. All right, Mylon, it's time for five random questions. Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. All right, you have a lot of websites. What's your favorite website? Um, that's, a, that's a tough question. I mean, I would probably have to go with one of my websites it being my own favorite. But at the same time, I mean, I, uh, I do a lot of research on other people's websites. One of my favorite websites, I would say, hmm. I mean, it, this may sound even just plain, but either like YouTube or Facebook, because that's where it gets most of my time. So, you know, that's, that's actually probably one of my favorite websites other than mine. Okay, favorite pro sports team? Uh, definitely Miami Heat. Best pregame meal? Best pregame meal, I would say uh, some type of chicken Alfredo. Okay, what's on your iPod? Everything. I, uh, I listen to a little bit of everybody, everything. Got everything on my iPod, and who knows what day I might listen to what. I don't really have a, a set pregame ritual, but uh, got everything on there, though. All right, and last, if they made a movie about your life, who would play you? I think Will Smith. I think Will Smith would be a good actor for me in his prime. Not the older Will Smith, but a younger Will Smith, I think he would do really well for me. All right, Mylon, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right, that's Mylon Murphy. That's going to wrap up this week's edition of the show. For the entire Cat Chat crew, I'm Pete Francis. Until next time, go Cats.